Oh my goodness, man. Like I reported earlier that uh Yvonne Michaels won the purse bid for Donna Stevenson versus Alexander Gufik. You know, uh the mandatory for Donna Stevenson. But we have a hang up. You know, we have a battle between Bob Arum and Al Heyman once again. With Bob Arum accusing Al Heyman for something. But are uh, we back? It's the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. And um Apparently, uh, TGB Promotions, whatever that is, uh, one of the promoters for Premier Boxing Champions, they bid it for the highest bid of three point something million for um, uh, the rights to Stevenson and Alexander Gufik fight because that's uh, Adonis Stevenson's mandatory for the first time in like four and a half years, five years. And, um, you know, top rank only bid like 1.6, but Yvonne Michaels bid it like. Um, he bid it higher than top rank. I can't remember the exact number. I linked the article to the description so you know that it's true. Okay, so then when it came down to they unveiled they unveiled the purse bid. I guess the purse bids are done in, in, anonymously, so nobody knows what you know somebody else is bidding. I mean, you know, top rank they being cheap only bid at one point six. They had to know it was gonna be higher than one point six. Uh, Yvonne Michaels bid a little higher than that, and then G and then um. TGBT, whatever promotions, bid at the highest with three point something. I think Yvonne Michaels and GYM Promotions, you know, they did like two point something, you know. So then, you know, once they found out that uh, Yvonne Michaels bid in more than top rank, apparently the TGBT, whatever it is, TGBT Promotions, you know, they uh they didn't want to do their purse bid no more. They declined the purse bid, and it goes to the next highest bidder. And Top Rank and Carl Moretti and, and Bob and Aram all crying, saying, Oh, Al Heyman, Al Heyman's not playing fair. Yeah. TGB Promotions is, is working with Al Heyman's premier boxing champions, and yeah, they knew they didn't want the bid. They just outbidded us, you know, just to make insurance so we won the purse bid, you know, just acting like a bunch of punanis, you know? So, if it wasn't clear what happened, Bob Aram is mad because two premier boxing champion, um, you know, affiliated promoters, you know, gang banged his ass in a motherfucking uh, purse bid. You know what? But at the end of the day, he didn't bid more than Yvonne Michaels, and now the WBC is going to uh, do an investigation to make a ruling by Thursday. And, uh, you know, you know, Bob Aram is, is out here name dropping Al Heyman. And says, Al Heyman, you know, he's not playing fair. And like I said, you can read the particulars in the article as well. So, I mean, at the end of the day, all the shady shit that Bob Aram been doing over, over the time, all the shady shit, all the money that he didn't gave Mauricio Suleiman Jr. to make Jose Ramirez champion and, and cheat that, that whole situation. And then, you know, get him to pay to get him to, to, to pay Regis Progress to go away, to pay to get Daniel Conner ranked. And I, I don't care. I, I legitimately don't give a hell. I have no, I have no... No sorrow for to top ranking Bob Aram. If that motherfucker blew up tomorrow with all the men, I really wouldn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to get belligerent. It's because he been playing dirty for years. He been robbing fighters and and, 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 and stealing from these fighters and, 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 and using and abusing these fighters for years, man. You know what? You know he want to you know to claim that Al Heyman not playing fair. He being corrupt. What about all the years you was corrupt? All the years you robbed Oscar. All the years you robbed Floyd and the rest of them fighters, bro. All these years that you control the WBO and pay paid the WBO to be your personal uh you know uh top rank belt and, and and all that BS and, and Ramirez been holding that belt hostage ain't fought nobody, Gilberto and Jose, all the times that you know Lomachenko then held the belt and never unified and never fought a soul at, at, at one twenty six and one thirty for real. You know, all these different these all this shit. You know, this shit with Alex Sasato. Where you, you know, uh, Maurice Hooker about to enter the tournament. All of a sudden, the, the WBO get a check from top rank. And they crying and saying that um, Maurice Hooker, who just won a belt, can't enter the tournament right now because he got to face this mandatory Alex Asado. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Bob Aaron got the nerve of himself. He's one of the most corrupt, dirtiest guys in the game. You know, he just as corrupt, if not more corrupt, than Don King. You know what I'm saying? He monopolized in boxing. He don't want to play fair. He don't want to, you know, put his fighters up against other fighters outside of the, the top ranked network. All the shit he did with Pacquiao, robbing Pacquiao for years, and and all that shit. And he he continued to, to spill spew bad blood, bad blood on Pacquiao, praying that his fight with Matisse don't happen because he don't control promotional rights to Manny Pacquiao. Though I ain't got time for that, man. You know, ain't nobody got time for Bob Aaron crying over Al Heyman. You lost. It's a dirty game. 
And when, when 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 dirty games and dirty tricks get pulled on Bob Arum, he want to cry wolf and call and call the WBC police and call the boxing police. Man, shut up, man. Be glad when old, when this old fart go away, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you you lost to the purse bid. Either way, if if uh, TGB Promotions was there or not, you lost the purse bid. You didn't bid enough money. At the end of the day, you know you know take your check. You know take your fighter. And if he's going to beat the Donna Stevenson and beat him, he's going to beat him in Canada. He's going to beat him in the Ukraine. He's going to beat him in Alaska. He's going to beat him in Australia, California, New York, no matter where it go down. If your, if your fighter got the skills to pay the bills, you know, he's going to win. And then he goes on and say, well, since the situation is not fair, you know, um, we should have had a fight on ESPN, but we are having the Quebec. No, fool, you didn't bid enough for the purse bid. You didn't bid enough. So this fight is going to Showtime. Stop trying to control everything. They want to get some control. Since they feel they was cheated in the purse bid, but it don't matter. You didn't bid enough money to begin with. You know they they want to cry and try to get control. That's what this is because they don't control the event. They're taking away from ESPN. No, this is going on Showtime. You know Yvonne Michaels, he is the the winner of the purse bid. And if WBC they want to play flawed and play foul, forget them, man. Forget them. And let's do another purse bid then, and watch you get smashed on another purse bid because you were cheap. Old man that don't care about his fighter, just care about the fucking uh, revenue on the back end. That's it. You know? And he's trying to say, oh, we could work it out. And you could have, we could have it in Quebec City. That's a wonderful city for the fight. But, you know, we can, we can just have it on ESPN. Nah, fool. Shit going on Showtime, man. You know, bring your fighter. He the B-side. The C-side. Because nobody know who Alexander Goofick is. You know, this motherfucker ain't beat nobody. But somehow he get a, he get a shot at the, at the title, man. This some BS. But like I said... I left the article link in the description. You know, I said I had at least three more videos. That turned into four with the Marcus Cousins going to the Golden State Warriors. Hopefully, you enjoyed that video. And I got a, a few more videos that's going to pop off tonight. Uh, God bless to everybody. Don't forget, we on the, uh, we got a new college sports page popping, college football and basketball. S1210, college, football's most, college sports most one, excuse me. The link is in the description. Also, the link to this article is in the description so you can read upon, uh, read upon it and make your own determination, comprehend it how you want to comprehend it. Um, it's written by Dan Fat Rayfield. And uh, also, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links are in the description. Take you right to my social media pages. If you got a question, you got a, you want me to you got DM me or you got a video request, hit me there. I get back at, my early, at your earliest convenience. You got a business question, your business venture or partnership, my business email is in the link in the description. Don't email me on no BS and no other uh, fake-ass shit as well. But subscribe, hit the bell icon when I upload and go live. That's, when, that's what it's for. And share, share, share. We gone.